so first of all create a new blank document and then import your downloaded coca-cola png image and then scale it down and then position properly and the next thing we're going to do is to duplicate this particular image and we'll scale it down a little bit and then place it behind the one we imported first so we'll duplicate the second one again and then position it on the other side and then after doing that ensure to lock your layers so that you can you won't move them around accidentally so the next thing we are going to do is the background so you just create a shape select the gradient color then you can choose any style of gradient you prefer so i chose this and then after a few adjustments i moved on and you scale up the the rectangle and then you take it behind down to the last layer and then you lock that as well so the next thing we're going to do is to add our coca-cola logo so i brought that in and i scaled it up and then you can see that it's red so but we have to make it white we'll do that shortly so after scaling it up you scroll you swipe and then you look for color and once you click that you enable it and then you choose white and ensure it's pure white ensure it's pure white and then we have to take that behind the coca-cola bottles as well and so the next thing we're going to do is to add um, more like a base so I chose the ellipse shape for that then you transform it and squish it down a little bit and then we have to take it down the bottles layer yeah behind the bottles layer rather and then um, to make it look like um, a platform we have to add a square so I added that so but I needed to align the edges properly so I had to zoom in so you zoom in and then align the edges so that it matches properly And now to make it look realistic this white and the white of the other one should not be the same so i made this a little bit darker to create that um, illusion of depth then you take that below so once you take a look at that it looks like a very nice platform the next thing we're going to do is to add our text so you go there go to text double tap to edit and then I typed taste the because I was going to write taste the feeling but to create hierarchy I typed taste the first and then change the color and the font so I used white and then I went to fonts so I already installed some fonts on my pixel app so I chose Tilax regular so I duplicated this and then double tap to edit and this is where I typed feeling and then I changed the font to um, Tilax bold so you can see that I scaled it up so this emphasized more on feeling that it created a sense of hierarchy you get then I adjusted that a little bit and then try to align everything perfectly and so after doing that I guess that was all so I saved the project and also exported the project so if you're cool with this place you can move on but let's take it a little bit further let's go to Photoshop and then uh, import the image so after importing the image 
I added the lens flare that I always add. I love lens flares. So I searched for my lens flare and I imported it to there it is add. So I scaled it up, tried positioning it. So we have to change the blend mode. So you click on that layer, you go to blend mode, change it to screen. So we have to transform this and position that perfectly. So you click on that ampersand sign up there. And then you go to transform and then you try positioning it properly. I think that place looks cool. So you duplicate layer and then let's transform that again. Let's place that on the other side. So if you look at the first one we added, you can see that there is something about the edge. So let's scale that up so that we can fix that. So once you're done with that, click on done, save, and then let's export. No, I never meant to open that again export save to gallery select what you want to export and click ok and that is it